So Riley had this kind of dumb idea and for some reason, I said yes. All right, so imagine you're living in a 50s themed apocalyptic wasteland and you need to fend off the ghouls. But due to malnutrition, your swing, it's just not strong enough. You don't have the arm muscles left. So what you gotta do is put some rockets on your bat. That's what we're gonna do today. That's right, we're making the rocket bat from Fallout. But first, we need to go buy a bat and some rockets because in real life, scavenging is called stealing. Stop right there, criminal scum. All right. We need to go to Canadian Tire to get baseball bats because we're making a project that involves baseball bats and rockets. Welcome to Crappy Tire. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. But he has boots though. We got bats. We need... That's plastic. It's a, it's a pretty classic baseball bat. Let me just... <laughs> Alright, so we got our bats, uh, but we gotta make sure that they work first. Yeah, they work. So let's uh, put some metal plates and rockets on them and uh, break some stuff. All right, so we've got to make a bracket to mount the rockets to the back of the bat. So to do that, we're going to be using Microsoft Paint. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, got the rockets. Let's go make rocket bat. What does the instructions say? Handle with care and respect. Ah, whatever. All right, so first thing we need to do is get some pipes that fit these inside them. No, first thing we need to do is figure out which end it's gonna fire the rocket out of, because it would kind of suck to have it just friggin' rocket out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it fires out this end, I think. Metal time. That's not gonna work. Where are they? I think I have to go to metal supermarkets to find the right size of pipe. Vibe check. Big thanks to Cove for sponsoring this video. Cove sent us their commuter speaker and it's been in constant use for weeks. With amazing features such as on speaker volume, song control, two EQ modes, and battery life that's lasted through many work days here, the Cove commuter is the best speaker that I've used. Enough sound to fill any room you're in, it's perfect for parties. And as a thank you to you, Cove is giving you 70% off using the code HACK70. It's a fantastic offer on a fantastic speaker, so follow the link in the description to get your Cove commuter today. You got that tube thing? However, the rocket doesn't actually fit inside because all of the other ones were too wide and this one's too small. So we're gonna have to turn it out. We're gonna use the lathe, watch this. We gotta cut it first because it's actually too thick to fit through the chuck. Wait, safety chicken stole my glasses. This is called precision machining. Wow, you've been learned. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. Make sure he's safe, dude. All right, he's safe now. This is called a pro strap. You gotta wiggle it. You gotta wiggle it in. There it is. It's a housing for the rocket. We gotta drill some holes. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna weld this nut to that bolt and then this nut to this pipe, which should make it stronger. And so our bat won't break, maybe. Needs wiring. So unfortunately, the Fallout crafting system hasn't quite yet been implemented into the real world. So we're gonna actually just have to weld it ourselves. Real welding hours. This 
thing is still smoking hot. If it were to break right now, it would hurt one of us very badly. All right, let's get it secure and do the next one. I am plasma cutting little rings so that we can put them on here and then drop these guys in, weld them in, and it'll be great. Yeah. Where's the other one? How, how did it disappear? Oh, 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 bada bing, bada boom. All right, so most of the welds are done. Let's sandblast it so that it all looks pretty and then we can make it look ugly again. <laughs> Okay. Missed a couple spots, but I got the gist of most of it, and I'm pretty happy with it. Every time I make a project like this, as it goes on, I just go, why did I make this? We'll find out when we test it. This is a bad idea. All right, so before we put some rockets on it, I want to test it just to see if I can actually swing the bat. Uh, so we'll smash this ceramic thing, which I know is going to break, but here we go. Once we add the rockets in, it's gonna get worse, but let's smash this disco ball. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll come back, we'll put some rockets in this, and uh, we'll smash more stuff. All right, so we tested it, we know it works. We just gotta add on last little detail on the top and then put some wires in it and I'm going to break both of my wrists. All right, so to make the jet on top, it should be a bevel gear, but that's gonna add way too much weight. What I'm gonna do is cut out 12 of these little segments, weld them all together, and it'll look the same. Done. It's done, it's all welded up. All we need to do now is find the switch and wire it up. Only issue is, Safety Chicken has my switch. And I don't think he wants to give me my switch back. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna attach a switch. Should I test it without the rocket motors plugged in? Hey, it worked. That's comfy. It's ready. Yikes. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. All right, rocket bat's done. Let's test it. We're gonna hit this baseball right into the chicken man. Probably gonna miss, but let's do it anyways. Oh man, I, I don't like this at all. I made it, I dug my grave. I must lay, lay in said grave. All right, firing in three, two, one. Okay, so there's a delay. My lungs. Take two. Well, I didn't like that at all. That was a misfire or something. For like the 7,000th time, it's time to go. I'm dizzy. I think I need a longer swing. 
Like I, I need to start facing literally the opposite way because it takes a while to accelerate. So I'm gonna like start here and just rail it because it was quite a bit of force added. It's time for a refreshing new cocoa. Let's do this and actually have it work. Double rocket power. It's time to test for effectiveness against ghouls. Yeah, that, that's a ghoul. We'll go with ghouls. All right. Oh, God. Oh, man. I didn't even move my arms there. I, I literally didn't move my arms. That just took me. Where'd the skull go? Where, where, there and there. Oh my God, it is, it's gone. <laughs> and we didn't even destroy the shell. <laughs> Size of the rocket burn. <laughs> that is absolutely God. insane. I couldn't see I would like the. I not want to be in front of that thing. Like, I wouldn't. I yeah, I, I don't know. Like, holding it is not that bad, but like looking back at it, I don't know if I want to hold that anymore. <laughs> Should we hit the chicken with it? We're hitting the chicken with it. The wasteland is no place for chickens. Rip safety. <coughs> Oh god. Oh. Oh. It hit that. It made them float up. All right, thanks so much for watching. This project went way better than I thought it would, seeing as I've still got two functioning wrists. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and make comments of anything that you'd like to see us make in the future. Thanks for watching. Okay, cut. All right, we're done. That was, that was good? Yeah. All right, awesome.